the Community Power Toolkit. This uh, project has been a long running task here at ILSR and we're really fascinated to share some of how this works. And to join me is our toolkit guru extraordinaire, Maria McCoy, who has been developing this project for us for quite a long time. Maria, welcome. Thanks, John. Yeah, I'm really excited to finally share this project. So I have to confess, the reason I was so excited about doing a toolkit in the first place was I wanted to have a way for people to learn about what can be done at the local level around climate change, what can be done to accelerate uh, renewable energy development, what can be done to do community-based renewable energy, and not have to read a 50-page report. So the idea here is we have over 150 cities in the U.S. that have committed to 100% renewable energy, and we wanted to talk about what is it that you can do at the local level. So one part of the toolkit, which is already live on our website, uh, Community Power Toolkit, is uh, focused on city authority. What's, what can cities do? But this newest part of the toolkit is very exciting. It's about utility companies and how individuals and advocates can um, work with, can pressure, uh, can encourage their utilities to do the right thing, to uh, uh, do more development, um, to accelerate clean energy deployment and to do it at the community scale. So this short video is going to show you how the toolkit works, give you a little bit of a navigation and share some of its cool features. And for that, I'm going to turn it over to Maria, who is our expert toolkit person uh, to show us how it goes. Thanks, John. So I guess to get started, there are two main pieces in this Power Up My Utility toolkit, and those are engage with your utility and ask for impactful policies. And so within each of these pieces, there are many smaller sections to explore, and we'll take you through one of those in this video. Ooh, I would like to engage with my utility. Can we try that one? <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so I see four different kinds of utilities on here, Maria. Can you tell us what the choices are? Sure, so there are really three types of utilities. Municipal utilities that are run by a city government, there are rural electric cooperatives that were built to electrify rural areas of the country. And then there are investor-owned utilities, which are the large utilities that uh, are beholden to investors and serve mostly urban areas in the country. Finally, there's community choice aggregation, which is not exactly a utility, it's more of a broker. And communities in the states that enable it can band together and choose where their electricity comes from, and then the utility company still delivers that electricity to them. Well, I think that one sounds the most interesting. Let's check out Community Choice Energy. Sure, so just an overview. Each slide will be filled with interactive content. This could include different animations, videos that you can click to play right there in the slide. And there's also some short audio clips. You'll also find links to outside material that we've made their model ordinances and just shining a light on other organizations that are doing this work on the ground. To dive more into community choice, you can see here just how many communities are using this new policy to choose where their electricity comes from. And this comes from our community power map, which as you can see, you can click on the map and that orange box will sh pop up on anything that's clickable and that'll take you to our website and this map that shows all kinds of state and local policies supporting energy democracy. You can also see in the toolkit, again, many of our reports that we've done. So here's one on Community Choice Energy if you're interested in learning more. Uh, well, I can just say very quickly as the author of this report that our goal was to really highlight the incredible range of things that communities are doing with Community Choice Energy. So if you like reading reports, we have them, but let's get back to what you can look at in this interactive toolkit. So a final component of this toolkit are these podcast excerpts from the Local Energy Rules podcast. So here there's a player below the image and you can click and play a snippet of the podcast, just about a minute or so. Why don't we queue up a few seconds of this interview with Jessica Tovar just to show folks how it works. All along, the interest was not just in having a community choice program, but having a community choice program that offers community benefits. 
If you want to listen to the full podcast, just click on the Local Energy Rules logo and that'll navigate you over to our page where you can listen to the whole thing. Or check out Local Energy Rules on Stitcher or iTunes or Apple Podcasts. Finally, when you arrive at a slide that looks like this, you can either return to the home page or choose a different section to explore along that bottom bar. So this is just one tiny slice of the toolkit, which has dozens of different kinds of threads that you can follow to get information about what utilities can do, what policies they can adopt, and where, uh, where different communities have seen those utilities do those things. So powerful stories about uh, actions that utilities have taken and, and the success that communities have had in getting their utilities to power up. Um, we really encourage you, take your time, play around with this, give us feedback. There's a feedback uh, link on the website. Um, you could also email either one of us, maria at ilsr.org or jfarrell at ilsr.org. We'd be happy to have uh, your ideas about how to improve this toolkit. And don't forget to check out the other toolkit as well, uh, the one that's focused on cities. It's on the same web page as this toolkit. Uh, you just scroll up. Uh, and you can explore the ways that cities, uh, as well as utilities, can help change our energy future.